Okay, so I'm just like winging it. You know, I'm not tired. I just had a little espresso shot, which I shouldn't have even had, but um, it's just, the vibe is a little different over here. So we're just going with the flow. We're chilling. I'm leaning on my little island or whatever. And this is how we're gonna get these messages. I have a message for the collective. I don't know why I felt called to give this message. Like I was told like, do it now, do it now. So real quick, like just starting off, my hair is gonna be looking crazy. So please don't mind, let me put it in the ponytail. Let me go ahead and put it in the ponytail, okay. <gasps> what type of ponytail is that? What type of ponytail was that? No. <laughs> Stop it. Okay, anyways. So the message, this is for somebody. Listen, I feel like I'm talking to my people who are very successful or my people who are literally walking into success. So a lot of the people that I feel like this video is gonna resonate with are those that are already in the public eye, wish to be in the public eye, are currently working at a new endeavor or like business project that's possibly gonna put them in the public eye. We're just gonna speak that into existence, um, that everything is gonna be successful for you and that people are gonna be noticing you. Because I'm getting a real big energy on success, um, recognition. This message has been coming up, not just through like these little videos that y'all gonna be seeing me post, but also through my personal readings. Um, it's almost like, I feel like collectively, everyone has been experiencing kind of like a creator's block, that's what I call it, um, a writer's block for people who write. It's just a point in life where you're like, damn, like you just lose that drive, that passion. Like the things that you've been passionate about, like the things that used to be fun, it's almost like they're not fun anymore. Um, or it's almost like the passion doesn't drive you anymore. Before, when you first started it, it's like, that's all you needed. It was just that passion that you had for it, and it was like you can get up every day and continue to do it. You could put effort towards it. But it's almost like, I feel like for a lot of y'all watching this, whatever you've been doing, it's just gotten so real, and it's a blessing. It's a blessing, but shit has gotten so real that it almost took the fun out of it, you know what I mean? And if that's not the case, it's almost just like, randomly, and I almost don't feel like it's random. I feel like it's been a couple of months for some of y'all, maybe even a year, okay? It's been some weeks where it's just like randomly you were just like, damn, like questioning yourself, telling yourself, man, maybe my work isn't that good. Or maybe like, maybe I'm not that good or maybe I shouldn't be doing this or maybe I'm not who I thought I was. Maybe I'm not that bitch. Like that's the energy I'm picking up on. Like there's just been recent events that kind of had you questioning your abilities, questioning yourself, questioning your talents. And the thing about it is, is we need to come out of that energy. That's literally what I'm picking up on. So the, the main phrase, I don't know, it's just a big like, I don't know, that's what I'm picking up on for a lot of people. Like a lot of people have been in this kind of blocked energy um, or like a back and forth energy where they're kind of teetering on having that, that drive and then just kind of fizzling out. Like, you know what I mean? Um, so what I feel like is going to be shifting for the collective if it hasn't already, if it hasn't already is that passion, that drive, all of that energy is going to be coming back. And because it's going to be coming back, was that 333 on the clock? Oh yes, look that up. And because it's going to be coming back, um, I don't know why, but the main phrase I keep getting is you just don't have time to kick it. You don't have time to kick it. That's the message for you guys. It's almost like. There's gonna be so much energy and like my head is literally starting to hurt as we speak. It could be the espresso, who fucking knows. But it's gonna be so much energy and it's gonna be something, it's like gonna be a burst of energy that you're gonna get, right? I don't know. I just feel like the main message for you to know, I don't know. I don't know. I just know that for those that have been going through a block, I feel like that block is about to literally just be removed. Like I feel like spirit, God, the universe is just about to remove it. So with that being said, the phrase for everyone watching this video that this is going to resonate with is you don't have time to kick it. That's the thing about it. You just don't have time to kick it. And I'm not going to say that again. What I mean by that, we ain't even pulled no cards yet. Um, during this time of success, a lot of you guys are going to be successful. A lot of you guys are already successful. And for whoever just asked or for whoever is like wondering if they need to go 
Like if this is a sign for them to go after whatever that little business project they want to do, whatever it is, something business related. If you're wondering if this is a sign for you to go after that, it is, okay? But like, I don't know why that phrase keeps coming up. You don't have time to kick it. A lot of you guys are already in this energy where you're like, I'm going to pursue what it is that I'm going to pursue and I'm putting my all into it. Like I'm done playing with people. I'm done with people playing with me. I'm going to go after it. But the thing about it is I'm almost picking up on an energy where it's almost pissing people off. Like it's pissing people off that all your energy is starting to go towards your passions, what you want to do, what you authentically feel is right for you. It's almost like it's pissing people off. Not just because people are haters, you know, that comes with that comes with the territory of success. But I almost feel like in regards to what it is that a lot of you guys want to do, if you haven't done this already, it's almost a message for you to get ready for. You're going to have to literally change your direction. What I mean by that is the stuff that you were able to do before, I don't know why, just for an example, partying, kicking it with everybody, um, you're not going to be able to do that no more. It's almost like spirit wants you to understand that you don't have time to kick it no more. Right now is the time to put all this energy that's about to come through because a lot of you guys have lost that energy or a lot of you guys have literally just came back into that energy and you're like, woo, okay, I'm feeling like I want to start back doing that again or oh, I feel like I want to do this again. And yes, spirit, God, the universe is telling you, harness that energy, let people know they cannot enter and stay focused. <sighs> It's like, no, that was, a, that was a lot for me. I don't know why. There's a lot of energy coming through. So let me just see if that resonated for anyone. I'm just picking up on like people aren't understanding that you just don't have time. You just don't have time. Um, and I don't know why I'm picking up on a big energy on during this time. Please protect your energy. Um, please be careful of the people that you're around. Uh, please be careful who you give your energy to picking up on a real big energy vampires energy vampires even for people especially if you're in the public and you have a social media platform whoo, honey you got to protect the energy okay regardless i don't care i don't care if you got to listen especially with me having an instagram page youtube page all that stuff set boundaries with people set your um set boundaries with people and also just like i don't know why i keep hearing something about protect your energy I don't know what that was about. That was a little channel message. I hope that made sense to somebody. But the main message that I picked up on, you just don't have time to fucking kick it. Oh, there we go. So let's see what else is coming out for you guys. There's a message for you. So I'm just going to ask Spirit to come into the room. I'm going to ask my highest vibrational ancestors, Spirit guides, and angels to come into the room. If God allows for your highest vibrational ancestor spirit guides and angels to come into the room, they can just for the message, then they gotta go. <laughs> I always say that. Don't let them linger, Lord. Don't let them linger. But anyway, um, channel messages. So I'm just gonna clear the energy a little bit. Mm, I let it. Okay. Clear the energy a little bit. Hmm. You know what another message is for you guys? Um, there's something that's being overthought, okay? Um, hmm. For my people who have business plans, or maybe some of you guys have been thinking about formulating a business plan, but it's been taking you a long time. I get that you want it to be perfect, but I don't know why this is coming through. It's almost like the, the process that you're using to think, that don't make sense, hold on. This overthinking that you're doing in regards to the process or in regards to what it is that you want to do, it's almost like it's so much thought, but it's not enough action. You know what I mean? Um, it's actually keeping you very stagnant. That's what I'm hearing. Um, so try to organize your thoughts and try not to overthink it. Let it flow. I'm not saying that you don't have to be serious about your business plan, but it's almost like I'm just picking up on a lot of swords energy, a lot of thought, but not a lot of pinnacles energy, not a lot of grounded energy. I don't know how to explain it, but it's like, I don't know. I don't know and it's so crazy because I don't know and it's so crazy because even like how I'm feeling that's literally the energy I'm picking up on it's a lot of energy but it goes nowhere it's like so many thoughts so many ideas probably when you're by yourself you talk yourself up you talk about these things that you want to do but then you really don't do it you just don't do it you know what I'm saying um I don't know that's a big energy that's coming through for somebody but let's see what are the messages Ooh, I don't know. These just spill out of my deck. 
I'm gonna read these to somebody because these are gonna resonate. I don't know why these just spilled out of my deck like that. I literally just made this deck myself. Um, so they may resonate, they may not. So I guess that's how we're gonna start off. Ooh, someone may live in Florida. Um, the word Florida just fell out the deck, Florida. We have December, someone might be born in December. Um, something could have took off for you in December. Something may be about to take off for you in December. Maybe you're planning something. That might be a good month for you. Um, we have self-care. Tainted. Anytime I look at this card, I think of Clouded by uh, Brent Fias. Y'all not going to be able to see these cards, but just you can hear me. That's all you need right now, okay? We have Tainted, Clouded. Ooh, please listen to that song by um, Brent Fias. Oh, my gosh. The, the, uh... The lyric that I'm, um, I'm picking up on is, her nigga want to be me, but he don't know I'm fighting demons. Listen, I feel like there's a big, oh wait, let me tell y'all, there's going to be so many people watching y'all, and I feel like a lot of people actually envy you guys, evil eye you guys, I don't know if you know what that means, but evil eye send bad energy to you, but it's like, why the envy? I had to work my ass off to get here. People don't understand what you had to do to get to where you needed to go, so it's just, it's just blowing my mind. I don't know. There's a big energy around envy, jealousy, people literally trying to drain you of whatever it is that you have of your momentum. And maybe that's why I had to get on here because I feel like there's about to be such a push of energy. And I feel like, like I said, a lot of you guys are destined for success, destined for greatness. A lot of you guys are destined to start something new in regards to like a business endeavor. And there's been a lot of things around you clouding your vision. Please listen to Clouded by Brent Fias. I don't know, that's somebody's song. Someone could really like Brent Fias. These are just messages to help anchor before we get started so that you can know whether this is gonna resonate with you or not. But anyway, we have tainted. I feel like there's someone in your environment that might be tainting your energy, tainting your spirit, self-care. I'm picking up on an energy of some of you guys have really let yourself go. Oh, are we coming out of a rough period where we just like maybe not only are you were maybe not only you were having a uh, why can't I talk? Maybe you were not only, mm -hmm, maybe you were not only having a, um, like a creator's block, but it's almost like you weren't just letting the passion go, you, you were letting yourself go. That's kind of what I'm picking up on, and I feel that energy shifting for you guys. So if someone needed to hear that, um, that basically they're going to be coming out of a, a real stagnant period, I'm telling you, there's about to be a, some new energy coming towards you. Like, Spirit is really about to bless you. For whoever has a hard time speaking up authentically about what they want to do, please work on, like, exercising that throat chakra, honey. Speaking up. Oh, I don't know. It's something about speaking your truth, doing what you want to do. Um, I'm getting real big root chakra energy if anyone's into the chakras, but I don't want to go too much into that because I feel like a lot of people that watch this video... Some of y'all gonna ask yourself, how did I even get to this video? Some of y'all might not even be that spiritual, but it's like, you got to this video. I don't know why, but just remember that I said that. Anyway, we have cancer. Um, something can be happening uh, big for you during cancer season, or I could be talking to a cancer right now. This message could be for a cancer. Sports. Woo, some of y'all are in the public eye um, and you play sports. Some of you guys are trying to get on a team could be basketball, football, soccer, whatever, baseball. It's almost like I'm picking up on a, either trying to make the cut type of energy or you could already have made the cut. Hmm. And it's about to be your time. We also have player. In this context, if this was a love reading, I would think of that as a cheater, a cheating ass motherfucker, but I'm not, I'm not picking up on that. I'm picking up on literally like sports. Someone that's watching this video is definitely gonna be in the public eye when it comes to sports. So maybe you recently kind of just fell off of whatever you do sport-wise, maybe you recently just fell off. Maybe you haven't been getting the recognition that you feel like you deserve. I see that recognition coming, but I also feel for you, whoever that is, there's going to be a lot of envy. I don't know why that's coming through. Um, and then we have put down the bottle. Mm, I, I'm picking up on this. It's been a rough period and a lot of you guys are self-medicating. This could also be with weed. You know, I don't judge, do your thing. But it's almost like, I feel like whatever y'all have been indulging in, that energy that you're using in, to indulge in whatever these addictions are or to whatever these numbing products, things, liquids, herbs, okay, greenery, <laughs> whatever those things are, it's almost like that energy, we could be putting it somewhere else. And I'm almost picking up on, especially with alcohol, someone could have a, a little problem with alcohol or maybe that's how you've been numbing from whatever situation that you've been going through. And I feel like it's, like I said, it's leading into that 
stagnant energy you get what i'm saying like that real stagnant like oh, i don't really want to do nothing maybe you think alcohol is going to give you the oomph that you need to get started believe it or not some people think that i used to be like that you think oh i just need a drink to loosen up but i feel like that drink turns into more drinks turns into more drinks and then you get drunk and then by the time you wake up you're tired you didn't do shit the day has passed and the next thing you know you do it all over again you could do this also with weed so the thing i'm picking up on is like whoever that's for gotta put down the bottle okay now bottom of the deck evil eye for those of you that are spiritual y'all like my little drawing <laughs> i wear an evil eye bracelet all the time i'm real big on the evil eye okay and we also have someone might listen to smino the rapper but anyway with that evil eye i want you guys to definitely protect your energy during this time like i said a lot of you guys are destined for success I'm telling you, so you know it gotta be true. A lot of you guys are destined for success, and I just feel like there's a lot of people that, even if they don't mean to, I mean, there could be some people, um, I'm gonna just say it, black magic, voodoo, whatever, um, which I don't even think voodoo's bad, but you get what I'm saying? Like, whoever, whatever intention, let me not say that. I just feel like there's power in the tongue, and I just feel like for whatever reason, whoever you are that's watching this, there's a lot of people that may speak down on you, or there's just a lot of gossip around your name good bad and different doesn't matter sometimes even the good things that people say can cause at or can um act as an energy block okay so i don't know i just feel like there's a lot of gossip around a lot of you i feel like a lot of people want to necessarily just be around you like it's like a big energy of oh i just want to be around this person or oh like look at this person you see what they're doing oh i heard they was doing this it's just a lot of, like a lot of seeing watching gossip and that could be too much and that could also be why you're getting overwhelmed as well picking up on other people's energy Believe it or not, I'm real big on energy, protecting your energy, and cutting people the fuck out. So, I don't know. I'm getting a real big, um, this might be the time to kind of hermit yourself off and just put all your oomph into your passions. But I'm almost picking up on an energy like everybody does not need to be involved, okay? I don't mind you posting whatever on social media. But for a lot of you guys, it's going to be a real big energy of moving in silence and then busting out with everything while it's, like, for some of y'all. Hear me out. Um, build in silence and then bust out when everything is ready. You get what I'm saying? That's for somebody. Like, I don't know why that's coming through. That's for a specific business. Like, when everything is ready, just bust out. Just bust out. No hints to nobody on what's going on. Just bust out. But, ooh, let's tap into this energy. This pile that is watching this video, whoever this is going to resonate with, what do they need to know right now? Any messages? <laughs> <laughs> that's so crazy Earth. a lot of you guys let me tell you there's so much energy coming in this is going to be whoo when this energy comes in and when you actually learn how to harness it it's almost like this is going to be like so fulfilling for your family a lot of you guys are worried about how you're going to feed your family or maybe money's just been a little bit tight honey i see us starting fresh okay messages what do they need to know people that are watching this video the emperor aries energy coming through listen y'all not gonna be able to see these cards just bear with me but the emperor right honey that's power um some of you guys could be fathers but i just see so much success so much power this this man is literally sitting on his throne another thing for you guys is masculine feminine man or woman there's a need to tap into your your masculine energy when i think of masculine energy i think of someone who's very goal and orientated i fit, i think of someone who's very driven someone who's just go getter energy that's the energy that you need to be in okay um let's see how can they get into this energy how can this power get into this energy Ooh. We have illusion, seven of cups. How can this pile get into this energy? Listen, and you have success. I'm telling you, I just need you to see this. I know y'all probably can't see. Ah. Do you see that? Success, we've been talking about this whole time and happiness at the bottom of the deck, listen. So we have the emperor, seven of cups. Um, I feel like this is the six of, this might be the Six of Wands, the Six of Cups, Six of Pentacles. And then we have, I never know, there's two Sixes here. I never know if this is the Six of Cups or the Six of Wands or the Six of Pentacles. This might be the Six of Cups, Six of Pentacles. Okay, boom. I'm sorry, don't mind me. Anyway, with this Emperor card and the Illusion card, it seems like the for a lot of you guys, I feel like this is the same message that I keep giving everybody. For a lot of you guys, the block is you. What has you in this state of illusion where you feel like 
you know what's so crazy people don't know but a lot of people actually fear success um, when it actually starts getting real okay um, it's not just a fear of failure I feel with y'all there's a fear of failure and there's also a fear of success both of them which is 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 too much we can't be blocked this way and be blocked this way you get what I'm saying but when we look at this state of illusion or the seven of cups I also think of a very indecisive energy so a lot of you guys just need to make a decision about what it is that you want to do and go after it okay uh, get out of this very like oh I think I want to do this oh I think I'm gonna do this no know what you're gonna do step into your power it's time to put our uh, big girls panties on our, our big boy briefs whatever we wear men it's time to put them on and get the step in like I don't know why I'm getting the energy of like stop baby stepping around these um oh I almost cussed but stop baby I'm trying to be professional here stop baby stepping around everybody like what is we doing it's time to literally come through and step on people's necks step into your power and that's it and be un unapologetic about it I don't know why that's coming up um, some of you guys might need other people to work with you in order to get your uh, idea off the ground or there might be a need to network someone definitely plays a sport for sure um, but yeah I don't know why and for those who don't have like an idea or like something that's already in motion um, but they've been thinking about an idea that they've kind of been like in a state of nostalgia about where it's like been oh, I always wanted to do that like I don't know the biggest thing I'm getting for you guys is just to go for it like the way that you can be in this energy um, and start just kind of kickstarting it's almost like I feel like there's gonna be a ball that's gonna start rolling for you and then it's just gonna pick up you get what I'm saying? Like there's a little ball of dirt and then it picks up and then it keeps rolling and then it picks up to get bigger. That's how I feel like it's going to be for those who maybe haven't started something but they've had ideas. If you just anchor that idea, maybe talk to other people, like-minded people, um, and maybe like get more information on how you can get started. I'm almost picking up on an energy of one, it's going to be successful, but two, I feel like a lot of you guys are like putting it down before you even get started. It's like, oh, I could never do that or oh, it's going to take so much to do that stop it ew stop like you don't even know that did you even try that's literally the energy that i'm getting um i'm picking up on with defeat at the bottom of the deck it's almost like you guys get defeated before you even did anything like we can't be in that energy i'm just probably to know what's their advice Woo. you have temperance in reverse and you have ace of air listen i'm gonna be very honest with you guys for some of you guys um, when I think of temperance in reverse, there could be, um, you could be doing things in excess. I don't know. For some of you guys, I feel like you're doing too much at one time and that's why there's so much indecision. Um, that's why there's not much clarity because you really haven't grounded or anchored your thoughts. It's just thoughts. You're not writing them down. You're not like putting action towards them. But then for some of y'all, I feel like y'all been patient too long. You've been doing things in moderation for too long. When are we, like, you've been clear. You know what you need to do. You're just not doing it. <sighs> Come on, y'all. For some of you guys, too, I'm not going to lie, because love is coming through a little bit. Ooh. For one, some of you guys are going to have a partnership that's going to help you to push your stuff off the ground, whatever it is that you business it's almost like there's going to be a partnership i see a partnership coming in i see an offer coming in but also for some of you guys that have partners or um lovers relationships that don't serve you or they don't see the vision or they're blocking some of you guys have relationships that are actually blocking your success they're like a distraction because when y'all argue when y'all not on good terms it almost like depletes your energy gotta get rid of them or you got to let them know like, hey, look, I got stuff I got to do. I don't have time to kick it. But listen, no, I have stuff I have to do. Like, you're going to have to get on board. Like, this is my plan. This is my goals. This is what I want to do in life. This is my expectation from you. If you can't get with that, then you have to get lost. Okay? That's kind of the energy I'm picking up on. So let's keep going. What's one of their biggest blocks? What's this pile's biggest blocks in life? What's this pile's biggest blocks in life? Wheel of Fortune. What's this pile's biggest blocks in life? Ooh, okay. Father of Fire. Wheel of Fortune. Son of, it's a lot of masculine energy here. So either um, some of you kind of sit back. Oh. One, I'm picking up on there could be pride. Pride actually stops your success or slows it down. Mm, picking up on arguments with people. And whatever it is that you do, ooh, especially if you play sports, 
I don't know why I'm picking up on arguments or like uh, burnt bridges. I don't know why that's coming up. But anyway, with this Sun of Fire, we have the Magician, we have the Hanged Man, and the Wheel of Fortune. And the Father of Fire at the bottom of the deck. For one, um, hey you guys, listen. The past is the past. We have to let it go. Things, I don't know why I'm picking up on. There's a lot of childhood stuff coming up for y'all, which I'm not going to touch on because then this is going to get too deep. But childhood trauma, um, maybe a lot of you tried to, ooh, for some of you guys, there's some daddy issues. Daddy issues, or there might have been a masculine in your family that could have been a little bit abusive. Um... I'm almost getting on like a real controlling energy and it's almost like how do I okay do I want to touch on this in this video some of you guys like as you were growing up maybe you had an absent father figure and there's always been this energy of like having to prove something and I don't know why that's coming up as a block but it is so it's almost like something in regards to that has to be let go it's almost like there's some type of pride anger or resentment that you are carrying with you and it's it's so much emphasis on what people think about you and other people's validation looking a certain way proving your point to others let that shit go and my little lamp was just shaking y'all can't see it but yeah let that shit go with this hangman energy there's a lot of stubbornness that i'm picking up on but there's also a need to sacrifice some things are going to have to be sacrificed for you to get where you need to go and i feel like a lot of you guys either know what that is or you know there's a need to sacrifice certain things but you haven't sat and actually thought, okay, let me let me take this out. Or what would this be if I took this out? There's a need to sit down, reflect, and see what needs to go. Um, and also what needs to be added. What could be a new addition to be able to help you get to your goals, okay? With this Magus card, some of you guys are into real estate. Um, we have some news reporters that could be here. Doctors, nurses. Um, sports is coming through heavy here. You know what else is coming through? If you want people to listen to you, you have to speak. Um, some of you guys need to work on presenting yourself, how you present yourself. Um, the gift of gab, let me tell you, communication goes a long way. A lot of you guys, the energy that I'm picking up on is if you are expecting people to come through for some of you guys and help you out, no. Learn how to promote yourself. Maybe a lot of you guys are waiting for other people to come through and kind of like do the work for you. And for some of y'all, y'all are going to have people that are going to come and help you. But there's a select few where it's like you need to get out there and start promoting yourself. Fuck if family, friends, and all of them is not going to help you out or they're not going to be there to give a lending hand. It does not matter. There's a need for some of y'all to promote yourself. I don't know why that's coming through. Um, I'm picking up on some people have like a hard time doing that. Or maybe you're scared or maybe you guys are trying to promote yourself. But it's like it's not getting a lot of likes a lot of views and it's like uh i feel like when things don't go a certain way you kind of like pfft, fizzle out and then you just kind of stay stagnant for a while we got to get out of that energy things are going to pick up like i said that little dust ball and like how it's going on the dirt and it picks up picks up picks up that's how it's going to be so just give it time with this set of fire and the wheel of fortune the letters a and j are very prominent here <clears throat> This is very rooted DNA wise, childhood wise, childhood trauma wise, some of this stuff that I'm picking up on. But also I'm just picking up on an energy. Every time I see this Wheel of Fortune card with this DNA strand, it has a little DNA strand right here. It's a big energy of, well, the people from where I'm from, they don't never succeed or the people around me, they don't never do stuff like this. So how is it going to be viewed or like, it's almost like something from community like a lot of y'all made it out y'all community that's what i'm picking up on a lot of y'all was like that one or that two that made it out of the trenches okay but i feel like you know that about yourself but there's also it's like a double-edged sword it's like a blessing and a curse like you know you made it out and you feel really good about yourself but it's also like that fear of like falling back into that lifestyle or just seeing the people around you and looking at like that could be me like instantly i don't know if that makes sense it does to me i'm trying to like formulate these words but it's just like we have to let that go you know what i'm saying look at where you're going look at your path do not be scared of the success that's coming towards you and accept that success that's meant for you okay don't let your environment or where you came from stifle your success or what you think you should deserve like 
let yourself know you are deserving of this success you get what i'm saying like own it know that you are deserving of this you are not less than no matter where you came from okay that's coming through who thank you father of fire honey there's about to be an elevation in status people are going to start noticing you like i said um you're going to start feeling really good about yourself so just know i do see some more responsibilities coming up and i'm also hearing that for you to get noticed you're going to have to ramp it up just a little bit just ramp it up just a little bit okay any last advice for this pile swiftness any last advice for this pile two of cups death listen we have the death card here <laughs> And we have the two of cups. For some of y'all, a relationship is going to have to end for you guys to move forward in success. That's for someone very specific. There is literally a relationship or a partnership. If it's not a relationship, it could be a business par partner that you already have. Mm, that you've been thinking like, ah, oh, this ain't really working out. Like they kind of like cramping the style, stopping the flow. Mm -hmm, they are. They definitely are. They could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Lord Jesus, how's money going to be looking for this pile? How's money going to be looking for this pile in the near future? How, how's money going to be looking for this? Let me tell y'all something. Some of you guys are dealing with very manipulative um, either mothers, friends, friends. But I'm also, there's a masculine watching this video that has a, I don't want to say baby mom. But somebody's mother of their child, like it's like a parental figure. Someone is very manipulative. Um, so be very careful with that. I don't know why that's coming through. Um, or I'm almost picking up on when you get money, whoever this person is, it's almost like there's a lot of people in your pockets or there's a lot of people that feel like they deserve what it is that you have. Mm -mm, they do not. But anyway, back to this abundance. Whoever's watching this could be a Virgo. Um, <laughs> we have Virgo. We have every sign, really. Cup energy. Yeah. We got every sign. But Virgo is here heav heavily. With this three of cups, I see people celebrating you. Real good money flow, okay? Um, I do see you guys struggling. Ooh. It's going to be a little, it's going to take some time for you guys to really step into your power and recognize like who the fuck you are. I don't know if you guys are coming out of a real, I don't know, the period that I'm picking up on that you guys are coming out of. It's almost like a coming out of isolation. I'm thinking of a turtle coming out of shell. I feel like y'all isolated yourself for a quick minute and you're just now coming out. So it's going to be a little slow build. But honey, at the end of it all, you're going to be celebrated for what it is that you do. So I don't know why that's coming through, you guys. Um, that was a message for somebody. I don't know who that was for. Um, but there's a need for y'all to stop holding yourself back. The sun card at the bottom of the deck. There's a lot of success and a lot of good energy coming towards you guys. So let me pull you guys some last oracle cards. Y'all, I cannot see y'all. I don't, I don't know if I have my contacts in. I can't even fucking tell. But just listen to the sound of my voice. That's all you fucking need, okay? Messages for whoever's watching this video, okay? Messages for whoever's watching this video. What are some last messages? Okay. We have keep your eyes on the big picture. Leave the details to others. Experience that leads to success. Genuine concern for others. A lot of y'all gonna have people that work underneath you and they're gonna do all your dirty work. So it won't even be like you have to worry about it. So maybe like some of you guys have already elevated in status and you're trying to figure out if you should have people under you like to help delegate the work. You should. And I see you having a good team. Page of Ariel. An excellent opportunity will be offered to you. Look at this shit. This is crazy. An excellent opportunity will be offered to you. Scholarships or the pursuit of education. Time to get work. So for those who have been waiting for news about a scholarship. Um, what else they say? Something in regards to education. This is a good sign. Okay. And then we have eight justice for a lot of you guys that have been having a hard time balancing your work. Something about balance. Like there's been a real big imbalance in regards to work and just getting shit done. I see a lot of balance and a lot of stability coming in for you. You have fight for justice and equality rulings made in your favor. Don't give up. Ooh, rulings made in your favor. Don't give up. Mm. Why do I feel like some of y'all better not be pending no type of case or nothing like that. But anyway, we have Queen of Raphael. Follow your heart, a love of home and family. Trustworthy psychic information. That's me. I'm the trustworthy psychic information. Every time that card comes out, I have to say that. Any last advice cards? Ooh, these just fell out the deck randomly. You have speak up and claim your art. We talked about that, didn't we? Speaking up, throat chakra, claiming the art, going for success. Already covered that, but let's keep going. 
messages any additional messages <sighs> any additional messages for this group we have be open to love face your adversities and wake up call seek hidden treasures so listen something crazy is about to happen or i feel like a lot of you guys are coming out of that moment where things just got so fucking crazy and i'm just hearing i don't even know if it's necessarily be open to love i'm hearing not like love as a romantic love I'm, I'm hearing be open to love from others like that attention that's about to come through that appreciation that's about to come through stop fighting it stop feeling like you don't deserve it just be open to it like accept those blessings accept all of that and be grateful for it you know what i mean like start being grateful for where you are in life there's a lot of people that wish they had your spot someone needed to hear that someone said that to me and i thought about it and i was like wow that's crazy you are right but listen seriously you also have face your adversities fuck them haters acknowledge them you don't even really have to acknowledge them but just you know to you acknowledge that they're there and keep it moving okay claim your art period point blank it's time to step into your power claim it harness it and then move forward so yes you guys that is your message Woo! it was a long time coming wasn't it? i was struggling a little bit in the first half but i hope that resonated with someone and i will check you guys with another one later